We are bringing you in-depth coverage tonight. Two-time mayor of Providence and twice convicted felon Vincent Buddy Cianci is running for office again. When I first announced my intention to seek the position of Providence's mayor as a very young man, I sincerely expressed an abiding love for my city, Providence. That love today is undiminished, but sadly unfulfilled. Well, as you just heard there, Cianci announced his attention on his radio show this afternoon. He's seeking his seventh term. WPRI.com reporter Ted Nisi joins me live in studio now with a closer look at what this means for not only this race, but all of the races. So far, the gubernatorial election, that's been kind of the big headline getter. This completely changes everything. Just a bombshell announcement today in Rhode Island politics, Steve. I mean, Buddy Cianci, you know, no, there's no name better known in the last half century of Rhode Island politics. And for people down the ballot, people running for secretary of state or attorney general, it's going to be so hard to get attention. Heck, it's even going to be hard for the governor candidates to get attention because everyone is going to be talking about Buddy Cianci, which is just how he likes it. Absolutely. And now, Ted, you have Executive Suite, your show, where you talk with a lot of business leaders in Rhode Island. What, I'm sure you've been talking with them in the last several days about all these headlines. What are they saying about this? There's, there's real concern. I mean, Buddy Cianci, you know, to be frank, he was at times called a bully. He was known as someone who ran City Hall as his fiefdom. And, you know, for people doing business as Providence, there are going to be concerns about what it's like if you have this person back in City Hall. Now, former Mayor Joe Paolino, who used to hate Cianci but is now his close friend and pushed him to get into this race, says we're going to get a different Buddy Cianci this time. He's He's mellowed. He's learned lessons. He's not going to be so imperial. But of course, we won't know that until he gets into office, which has some people on edge. And of course, all this comes at a time when every single politician is trying so hard to bring business into Rhode Island, trying to create a perception that Rhode Island is friendly to businesses, friendly to people. What do you think the national perception is? You know, of this? CNC won't like this, but uh, think about it. The day after, let's say he wins re-election, it wins election in in the fall. The day after that, the national press, the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, the stories will say just months after House Speaker Gordon Fox, the state's top politician, was driven out of office by FBI raids, Rhode Island voters proved corruption is no impediment to winning office and they return this this ex fell into office. I mean, Buddy Cianci will make the case he'll do such a good job that it's worth any reputational damage, but certainly that sends a message out that uh, plenty of people in Rhode Island don't want to be sending to the rest of this country. It will no doubt be headlines if you were reelected. Absolutely. Yeah, All right. Big ones. Thank you very much, Ted. And absolutely, we have more coverage right now online. Eyewitness News has been on top of this story, on top of the Buddy Cianci announcement. We're going to have more for you tonight at 10 and 11, but you can also find extended coverage right now at WPRI.com. That includes an interactive timeline of Buddy's political career.